Welcome to the game of Mafia and the city of Lost Heaven. Gorgeous place, isn't it? If you have never seen this game before, up until now, stick around. I'm sure you'll like it. It's a very cinematic gameplay. And the real gameplay actually starts, I'll put it down there somewhere. But I suggest to stick around and watch this part very very nice anyway I'm gonna remove myself for your enjoyment Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just a coffee, thanks. Dip your beak. No, no thanks. Suit yourself. So, yeah. Said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah. I might have something. And what's my end of the deal? Ask uh, want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gas. you haven't slept for days. And your neck's gotta be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. What? Yeah, you ain't 
stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Twist, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! And we are here, ladies and gentlemen, with Tommy Angelo, and he's very started this life, so to say. One for now, but there will be more. Hold tight, I'm gonna try something. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Right. The leg will pay up there. It's like you got a death wish or something? <laughs> I barely scratched it. Come on. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. Just getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. For every single one of you, if there is any of you that don't know this information, this is a remake of the original Mafia series. And the original Mafia game that was made by a some Czech company. I don't really remember, but... Okay, ram the car first. Nice. I know some shortcuts that'll slow them down. I don't care how you do it. But they really made a masterpiece. Can't say anything more, anything less. That was your shortcut? I lost it, didn't I? Not all of them! These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business parkers fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. One hell of a wheel, man, I'll give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. What we can the make hell it. are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. That okay. was the biggest the 30 mile road. per hour now, jump I have ever seen. <laughs> This Tommy guy is really a professional. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. I used to play so much of the original Mafia back in the day, man. I, I grew up with that games. So this is... Okay, we're close. This gives me chills every second. <laughs> over in front of that bar. 
Vieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? I can bet Tommy in that very moment wasn't really sure in the, if he wants something little from the Don. I wouldn't be either. I don't blame him. This is intense. Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Yeah, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Drive the old lady and work for pennies. Directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Now the regular traffic laws don't apply here whatsoever. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself <laughs> think. Okay, fine lady. No radio That's for you. Much better. Anyway, throughout so, this gameplay, you will see a very different road, driver behavior from what we are used to. <laughs> they don't respect like when you're going straight. They just go wherever they want, whenever they want to this. Who, who's got the advantage? Who's the faster, I guess? I don't know if this was the law back in 1930, but... It's not cutting it. It's... I'd like to think this is just a game mechanic. People shouldn't live like this. Look at this guy! Here you go. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking <laughs> in your vehicle. <laughs> I felt like I was sitting 30 in an cents, man. Sure. Whatever you say. From what you got last night? 30 cents? I doesn't seem logical anymore, Tommy, does it? Can't drive without the radio. 
better find a new fare. Okay, next customer. Just doing the daily business. <laughs> daily business. Just, uh, how do you say it? Honest work. It's all in the day's work, something like that. Come in, pups. Where are you going? Art gallery. Give me that quick. Oh. Sure. Quick, I can do. <laughs> Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. I saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings. I have a business meeting there with Don't a you just like how the but cards slide in the you. corners? It's you find a real job, so blazing. Until then, <laughs> drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, that's my fault. That's all my fault. Don't call the cops, lady, please. I'm just a cabbie. Come on. Thanks, Bell. Here's 50 cents. I'll spend it all at once. Uh oh. I'm going to get arrested. No. Fair today's been a son of a bitch. <laughs> Under the next. Bring him in. Oh, we got failed admission. Never mind. Since five, what's your excuse? <laughs> Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Told okay. you, like, there's no if low, it's it all kind of anarchy. You don't tell them when I break everybody way. honks, everybody good goes wherever they deal. want. It's just crazy. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Nearly there. It's up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Whoa, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? <clears throat> Huh? Mr. 
Corvallo's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much watching for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh, Tommy, you're in trouble. <laughs> How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we're just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. What is he is the Don's favorite driver? So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I can tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. <laughs> Polly, man. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah, he's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. So smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? I hate sitting around. Pointing to various initiatives. Ready to come out of the budget. Okay, hello. What do you think about the sister? Ah, see, see. Find anything good? Nah, I. I'm watching you. Got Anyways, it. I, I get got it. places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loudmouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. 
What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough, but we gotta go. Long drive back. Bongiorno, Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this, then? Benny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten them out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Oh, Ralphie's awesome. Hey, genius! <laughs> <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, Papali? You can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Hey, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> oh, my God. God. You got that, Ralph? Sh -sh -sh sure, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here is a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. And it got his fine. It's good to get a change from the cap. You don't have to be nice about it. This thing's a tin can. Yeah, so I'm with the poly on this one. It's really the, the worst car in the game, yeah, probably, but it's a start. You guys deal in broad daylight. Normally, you need uh, to start with something, right? Their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, so long as we're careful. With an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We we'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. Dames they got in these places, best tables, best food, best skirt, some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine. Try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. We'll 
Get on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. We gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Job. Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. <laughs> what a definition from Polly, right? The physics are not the best, as far as I can see. You need to be really precise with your movement, but otherwise, I'm not complaining. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep looking out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over the town. Okay, Polly. these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. Hmm, take a bat. I want to drink the car, not the air. That's one down. This your first fight? Holy, move out of the way. Come on, Tom. Four of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Sure. There you go, and there you go. But they all also have that piece of shit. Tommy, let's run away. Wow, that was close. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Uh, 
Okay, we are good for now, but we just need to watch the minimap. And the minimap shows practically nothing that's uh, capable at, on foot, so not a threat at all. Nice. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Oh, so no fucking around with the cops. Got it. Feel. feel good? Of what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. <laughs> There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I know a shortcut, guys. I like asking just questions. here. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. Drive careful, we don't need the attention. Oh, Never now you don't want the attention. And take his motor. Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... You will find out soon enough, Tommy. Don't worry about it. Dumped it. Why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A better car with a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Just fix the window, Ralphie. Do your job, man. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Uh, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, if you stay straight with me, you're going to be living the high life, Tom. But 
You abuse my trust. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Well, Tommy, you are in the family now. There's no going back. And we will end this episode with this chapter. I hope you enjoyed it at least as half as much as I did. If you did enjoy it as half as much, then I call it a success. Because I really like this game. I grew up playing it, the original one, and I'm enjoying this one 100%. And also make sure to tell me down in the comments what's your favorite favorite thing about this game and why do you like it. I really want to know. And maybe we can discuss this discuss that in the in the next episode. Until then, consider subscribing and I hope I'll see you all there. Bye.